We have all heard about the dangers of UV light from the sun, how it damages our skin and causes premature aging, how we need to protect our skin by wearing a daily sunscreen. But do you know of another source of light that is equally as damaging but often ignored by many of us? Yes, it's blue light. In this video, I'll be talking about the damages caused by blue light and what is the best blue light protection skincare. Hi, my name is William and I share science-based evidences on products, claims, and effective methods related to health and beauty concerns, so you can make a better informed decision. If you're new to my channel, do consider subscribing as I upload new videos on Fridays and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Also, do follow me on Instagram for more contents that I wouldn't post here on YouTube. When available, links to cited articles are provided in the description below. Interestingly, over the past decades, due to consequences of modern life, humans are not exposed to adequate levels of natural light during the day, but are overexposed to relatively high levels of artificial light at night, especially blue light. Blue light is emitted visible light between the wavelengths of 400 to 500 nanometers. The main source of blue light is still from sunlight, but digital screens, LEDs, and fluorescent lighting serve as additional sources. Blue light can be both harmful and beneficial to the skin, depending on intensity and wavelength. Low energy and low exposure times to blue light can help prevent skin diseases while studies have revealed that longer exposure to high energy blue light can increase the amount of DNA damage, cell and tissue death, and injury, eye damage, skin barrier damage, and photo aging due to generation of free radicals. So protection of the skin is no more limited to the standard UVA and UVB light, but also to blue light. It has been shown previously that UV filters are not able to fully protect skin against blue light. However, when antioxidants were added to the formulation, protection is significantly improved. Multiple ingredient categories, for example, algae-derived ingredients, UV filters, botanical extracts, antioxidants, and vitamins are available on the market to fight against blue light-induced skin damage. Blue light skincare can be divided into two categories and they need to deliver both functions, that is pre-exposure protection and post-exposure repair. Like I said earlier, not all sunscreens out there cater to blue light protection. So during your next shopping spree, do look out for these ingredients. Methylene based benzoyl triazolyl tetramethyl butyl phenol and BBT or base octriazole for short or its brand name Tinazop M, which is a hybrid sunscreen, meaning it's halfway between physical, the ones that reflect the sun, and chemical agents that absorbs the rays which most sunscreens do. It is a new generation of UV filter. MBBT is a broad spectrum filter that was shown to provide protection in the blue light range as well. You may not be able to find this ingredient in products from the USA as it is not approved by the FDA. But in EU and other parts of the world, this shouldn't be a problem. Next on the list is zinc oxide and titanium oxide which are inorganic or mineral UV filters. These are commonly seen in classic sunscreens. Why do I say so? Sunscreens with zinc and titanium oxide, especially those exceed 15% for zinc oxide and 5% for titanium oxide, are not quite cosmetically elegant to use as they normally have a strong white cast and may cause a bluish tint to darker skin. So most of them are usually tinted to better match our skin color. I don't like it unless I'm going to the beach or for a swim. Then I don't mind my face looking like a pale white ghost. Nonetheless, they are effective to block UVA, UVB, and also blue light. It is also safe for pregnant women and babies. Do you have a mineral sunscreen that you love which doesn't have a white cast? Let me know in the comments below. According to a December 2020 article published in the Journal of Cosmetic Dermatology, the largest number of ingredients offering blue light protection claims could be categorized as botanicals, 
which several blends from major ingredient suppliers offering claims on preventing pigmentation, improving skin gloss and brightness, complexion and elasticity. Popular sources of botanical ingredients included butterfly ginger plant, rice, marigold, French red bell pepper, pumpkin, and blue tea oil. This is due to their antioxidants like beta carotene and lutein, have been found to be a deterrent for blue light oxidation before and after exposure. Vitamins are also popular ingredients in the blue light sector, with niacinamide and vitamin C and E considered effective in formulations. Niacinamide is an antioxidant and is well known for working against aging-induced hyperpigmentation. As such, it supports to mitigate blue light-induced photoaging. A protective effect on skin reddening was found for niacinamide right after irradiation at day 3. Vitamin C and vitamin E are superb antioxidants and it has been demonstrated that these two vitamins can provide protection against UVA radiation. Since UVA and blue light are adjacent on the light spectrum, these vitamins may be beneficial against blue light as well. Other ingredients that help with blue light repair include algae extract, seaweed extract and bacteria ferment extract. If you want to know more about the ingredients mentioned in the article, the link will be in the description. Alright, so knowing all this, what are the perfect sunscreen that stop blue light damage to our skin? When it comes to my favorite sunscreen that tick the above ingredients, I have two recommendations for you. Disclaimers, these are the ones that I've tried and I'm not sponsored. The first one is a Korean sunscreen called Isen Tree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Gel SPF 50 Plus PA 4 Pluses. And second, an American product called New Skin's Nutrisensual Daydream Protective Lotion SPF 35. What I liked about the Isen Tree Sun Gel, it's water based and doesn't feel heavy at all. It has 8 types of hyaluronic acid and because my skin is in combination, I tend to skip a moisturizer and apply this directly after my toner and serum. It's good enough to provide moisture to my skin. It does have a dewy look, not matte, which some people may not like. Absolutely no white cast as this is a chemical sunscreen and BBT is present so that's good. Other notable ingredients include niacinamide, vitamin E, ceramide, and centella acetica extract. This is alcohol, fragrance, and essential oil-free product. On the other hand, Nutrisensual's Daydream Protective Lotion has a blue light and infrared antioxidant blend, which are carnosine, pumpkin extract, and beauty tea oil. Provides antioxidant protection to help prevent the visibly damaging effects of blue light and infrared like discoloration and dull-looking skin. The unique selling point for this brand is the use of bioadaptive botanical complex such as rhodiola, marrow root, siberian ginseng, chaga mushroom, and resurrection plant. A blend of botanical extracts from plants known as adaptogens that thrive in extreme climates and can help your skin bounce back from stresses. This is also a chemical sunscreen. What I like about this is it's equally lightweight and absorbs into the skin immediately. It has moisturizer added to it so that's one less step for me. It contains vitamin E as well. I find this has a less dewy look compared to Isen Tree. No white cast, alcohol free and essential oil free. However, this has fragrance in it. But according to New Skin's worry free list, it is absolutely less than 1%. The lotion is great for normal to oily skin while there's also a cream version for those with dry skin. If you would like to purchase this and try out, I've provided an affiliate link below which you will get a 30% discount upon successful sign up. Just search for your country and click the link. Don't worry about signing up through the link, it is absolutely free, but it does help to support me as I do get a small commission from your purchase. And that is the end of my video today. I hope it gave some value to you. Let me know what you would like to know more about in the comments for my future video. I promise I will try to research the topics and make a video on that. See you next time. Bye-bye.